As European elections go, this has been one of the most heavily scrutinised in years. In fact, the OSCE, which monitors elections, says it's never sent a bigger mission to any vote. But some of what they've seen in Ukraine hasn't pleased them much. We talked about a, a, an election that was basically played on an unlevel playing field that was tilted in favour, we feel, and in our, in, in our findings uh, demonstrate that, that favoured certain candidates and certain parties uh, at the expense of others. The Party of Regions is, unsurprisingly, stressing the positive. Election Day itself saw few, if any, violations. They said Ukraine's democracy is maturing. The elections went uh, in a a transparent, free and fair manner according to all major European and OSCE standards. But Yulia Tymoshenko, jailed last year in a conviction her supporters say was politically motivated, is furious. She's gone on hunger strike, claiming these are the most crooked elections Ukraine's had in 20 years of independence. The opposition has had an injection of fresh blood from this vote, though. It looks like boxer Vitaly Klitschko has taken his new party, UDA, into third place. If just over half a year ago a lot of experts expressed their doubts about our party being able to enter parliament, if just half a year ago their main question was to pass through the minimum threshold, then there are no such doubts today. I think for a young party, 15% of the vote is an excellent result, so all the plans we had in front of us, we made them happen. Ukraine's parliament has 450 seats. When the dust settles, the party of regions hopes to have the loyalty of more than half the politicians in this room. It's the job of the different opposition parties to reach a unified voice for all those Ukrainians who don't like the way their country is headed. Europe has been watching what's happened here, though, and its leaders have seen much to fuel fears Ukraine isn't ready for more EU integration yet. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Kiev.